Hello and welcome. This is Angie with TheCountrySheetCottage.net and we're here today to talk about setting custom material settings within Cricut Design Space. Custom ones that are all your own, saved just on your account. Super simple to do and it may be something that you may not even know you can do in Cricut Design Space. So let's take an example. Say there's material and every time you cut it with your Cricut you need a couple extra passes of the blade to cut all the way through. And so every time you cut it, you have to remember that and you have to click the C on your Cricut machine to get an extra pass once or twice. And let's say one time when you're cutting it, you forget to do that and you eject the material and ruin a whole sheet. So what you can do is you can set up a custom material setting where every time you cut that special material, it goes ahead and does your one or two extra passes all for you. The custom material setting is only visible to you, so it doesn't affect your other Cricut materials. It just sets up a new custom material that you can use. So let's run through how to do that in Cricut Design Space. So when we click Make It, we are given options. First of all, we have our mats. And when we click Continue and connect our machine, we're given options for materials. And these materials are the ones that are Cricut approved or Cricut tested. Now, maybe you are using a different material than these, or perhaps these material settings that are preset are not ones that actually work for you. Maybe you need another pass or two and are tired of clicking to get another pass on the machine when you could actually set it up to do that with a custom material setting. So if you click material settings down here in the lower left corner, you will see the entire list of materials and what pressure they're using as well as how many passes. So maybe two passes here for the pearl paper. So let's say that um, we have a something similar to the heavy fabric but we need more cutting pressure every time. So instead of 3,800, we need 4,000. So we could actually add a new material and say example material, save that. And once you save it, you can actually edit the choices. So you can see that if I have the fine point blade picked, I can actually pick, pick however many passes I would like. Same thing for the deep point blade. However, for the rotary blade, you always have just one pass, but you can choose the pressure. So I could up the pressure and call this material whatever I wanted to. Once I save it, then that example material is always in my material list. So I can click done here. And now that material is just for me. And when I search example, I have my example material right there. This is a great way to set up custom materials. Currently it does not actually work with the knife blade, but you can set up custom materials to work with your rotary blade or your fine point blade or your deep point blade and that way you don't have to remember those material settings you can actually let Cricut Design Space do that for you. So now you can set up custom material settings for all those odd materials maybe that you cut or those materials that you find that you need an extra pass or a little more pressure or that type of thing. So set up those custom material settings and use your Cricut a little bit easier. So if you love this video first of all give us a thumbs up Second of all, you might love our Cricut Basics series. This is part of our Cricut Basics where we go into little, small, short videos of the basics of Cricut Design Space. So you can scroll back on our YouTube channel and find all of those. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the future videos that we have coming. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next week with another crafty video.